Hi there, and welcome to a third programme which I've written illustrating the use of Sonic Pi um, controlling Minecraft. Uh, this particular programme uh, produces a spiral mosaic of three uh, spirals which are uh, inlaid inside each other, giving quite a pleasing pattern at the end of it. Um, as before, uh, we start off with the, the programme um, first of all clearing uh, an area inside the Minecraft world and then setting a glass grass platform um, then teleport to a starting position and this particular program uh, which again uses ma various maths functions from the Ruby maths package uh, the, the definition of pi for example and I define uh, routines to uh, enable us to use cosine and sines which are both needed in this program and also to convert between radians and degrees and vice versa. Um, I won't go through the program in great detail because there is a gist with this video which you can uh, download and have a look at and there's quite a lot of comments in the program describing how it works um, I've called the, the main routine flat spiral um, unlike the helical spiral which I did in a previous program and this also draws spirals and has some notes accompanying it um, uh, produced in Sonic Pi and then when the spirals are all three drawn it then reverses the pro process and undraws them by replacing them with air blocks um, and here is the the business end of the program at the bottom three spirals drawn and then three spirals are raised you'll notice at the bottom there's a routine which I've called bodge and that is because, as far as I can see, for rounding errors, uh, there are three blocks which uh, don't, or three or four blocks which don't get removed at the end of the program. And so I just bodge this by uh, setting an area to air to cover the central area um, when, once the whole program is finished, so that it looks as if it ends nicely. But there is this particular problem which I've not managed to solve entirely. Anyway, let's have a look at the program going. We'll start it running. Uh, by pressing the run button then I'm going to switch to the Minecraft uh, world which is just running here already you can see uh, I'll switch back to um, Sonic Pi start the program running switch to Minecraft it's just initializing Minecraft um, making sure that the world is set up there's the grass being drawn at the bottom and here goes the first spiral flat spiral this time unlike the helical one which we did previously See, each time it goes round, the radius increases slightly so that we end up with this spiral pattern. Uh, jagged edges, of course, because of the resolution uh, that we've got available on the screen. You can make it a little better by um, uh, going round slightly less rapidly, but it does take a long time if you do that. There is um, a parameter you can change to alter how fast the, the uh, mosaic draws. Now we draw another one. Um, inside the first one can you see some sort of garbage collection effects it just uh, it sort of stops suddenly and then suddenly draws quite a number of uh, blocks like that as you ask it to do quite a lot quite a lot of calculation going on and uh, lot of drawing and in fact there are far more blocks being drawn than we actually see it's just that they're very close together and so it just every now and then uh, says oh, I can draw this one and uh, puts it in place and then the third pattern in the middle each one is played with a, a synth a slightly different synth so the sounds is slightly different and the sounds scale to stay within the audible range it's going from about a pitch of 40 up to 110 I think it is This is the last pattern in place, uh, nearly, and so we end up with this quite, not quite nice sort of Swiss roll effect, uh, three coloured um, patterns all uh, wrapped around each other. Stays there for three seconds so you can admire it, and then the process goes into reverse. And we remove the first one. Because uh, some of them actually overlay, you will tend to get some gaps arising when we get near the end, uh, because they didn't, um, uh, one of some of the uh, later spirals overwrap, uh, wrap over some cells from the previous ones so you'll tend to get some gaps arising in a minute. Particularly see that when we remove the gold spiral at the end. That should be nearly all the pink ones going. 
but you'll notice it leaves the three um, blocks. It sort of moved one space to the left. I've not quite worked out why that happens, but those three pink blocks remain and we have to wipe them out with the bodge routine at the end. Now it's getting rid of the diamond uh, one. It's winding down. You can see the gaps now where um, different coloured blocks have overwritten some of the, the original gold ones, which was continuous to start with. And now the gold spiral is gradually being removed. And then at the end we have the bodge routine which will remove the three pink blocks which are left behind. There we go, and a credits message uh, displayed from Sonic Pi on the Minecraft screen. So that's the program. I hope you like it. And as I say, you can download it from the gist, which is featured in the text below the video. Thanks for watching.